Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and continue doing this. Uh, so now let's create this R shiny. Create the data analyst analysis counties. I'm going to play a game called copy and paste and put this here. Okay, the only thing I wanted to change is main. I called main east, but technically, technically, main is northeast. Okay, all right. So north east east. Save this within the proper directory, week six, lab six, data analysis, analysis, counties. Fantastic. Oh, I'm in the way. Ha ha ha. All right. So save this. Boom. Close this. Bam. Close this from the other version, the actual answers. Um, open this up and then create an R shiny. Boop. Oh, now this is where it gets kind of important to note. We're going to have to use you here, here. Just note that. So shiny counties. I'm going to do camel counties. I could do, I'm going to keep it counties. Oh, not counties. Shiny states. And watch this app. Okay, that works. Single file. All right, boom. And I'm gonna browse to make sure I put this in the right directory. Week six, lab six. That's good. Boom. Create. All right. So now what I'm gonna do? Automatically <laughs> source it. Source data. Boom. Ooh. This is where I forgot I have to use here. Here. Right. I believe I. Should. Yeah, here, colon, colon, here, and then, what am I, what, what's my, okay, here we go, lab week six, and then, um, oh, it should be lab six, it's gonna be, gonna give me that colon, isn't it? I wonder why it's, that doesn't make sense, it should just be lab. Well, no, it does make sense. That does make sense. Okay, lab six. Okay, and that's it. And then I just say comma data analysis. I'm gonna press tab again now. It didn't show up. Analysis states. Is that what we called it? I already forgot. That's the answers. Dr. Williams. No. Uh, I should be doing this from the, I should be doing it from here. Sorry. To be consistent. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Okay. Lab six. Okay. Boom. So ideally this oh, uh, analysis counties and I use dashes. Maybe that's why it didn't work. You shouldn't do that. You should. <laughs> You shouldn't have it all in one counties dot r and then what we can do is to sometimes double check to make sure that it even worked we could just run it which is fine but i wanted to see if it gives me the path okay great it does give me the path all right and that's what it does if you want to ever know what i'm going to now do is erase my working station erase everything erase everything okay boom everything's clear okay so when I run this, nothing should happen. Nothing special should happen. <laughs> uh, we should just show the app. And this is the issue. With, all right, so you saw the delay, right? The delay happened because it's going to, it's getting all the data from each of the websites. There's ways for us to save it as a, a .r data file, but that's neither here nor there. I probably will only do this once. Um, so here, when it comes to, oh, jeez. Why did I do that? All right, so you see the delay again. So here, as you can imagine, this is not our data. This is not our visualization. But right now, it's actually at least showing the state data frame that we want, state's data frame, that's what we want. 
So what we're going to do is the three different questions. We're going to first do a state, we're going to do the table, we're going to do a plot, and then we're going to make a conditional. And I'm going to make this video a little bit shorter by just doing it step by step, but showing you the code, not showing me type out the code. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the code for the user user interface regarding the table. Okay, so I'm going to use check box, check box. So first of all, I should just show you the question. The question says, yikes, Dr. Williams. Question says region table development using state data frame, create a shiny application that displays a summary table for the selected regions. All right, so you're going to select regions um, and then be able to display the table. Boom. Okay. You can read it deeper if you need to. All right. So then here, I just created the user interface. And when I run this, it's, it's nothing should change. I forgot. I have extra parentheses. That's fine. Such is life. May have another one as well. We'll see if that works. It's collecting data. Ah, I need to not do that every single time. So impatient. So now I can select the different regions. Okay. That's what I want you to do. Okay. But it's not having an impact because we haven't changed anything here. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to change the, I'm going to change this. I might as well just say it, type it out, table, output, and I'm going to turn it to region table. I'm naming it that. It doesn't have to be called that, but I'm naming it region table. And then I'm just going to just, this is where I'm going to put the code for the table. Code for table. And you're about to see it right here. Right here. I think I, I think I did better there. Okay. So here, um, what's important to note is that I'm getting the select region. Okay. Whatever the user gives me is giving it to me as a vector. And then it's going to be stored into here. And this is where it does the filter. Okay. The filter. And so filter in that. And then it's going to group by region and then follow the population, the standard deviation of the population, the mean of the population. And sample size and so forth. You should do this group if you don't, so let's give you a warning. But this is a way for you to it's clean the code. So let's go ahead and run that again. I know it's gonna be slow, but I am patient. I am patient. I am patient. Tell myself I'm patient. Okay. So now if I add west, south, take away west, add northeast, boom. We got it. Great job. So that's the table. So now we're done. We're done with the table. We actually er erased this code. Okay. Now we're going to create a user interface for the, um, and erase this. And we're going to create a user interface, create a comma here for the scatter plot so I can pop, plot population versus age. Okay. So wait right about, I forgot to paste it. All right. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So you can see we go to be laboring through making this look a little bit cleaner. Um, and so what's happening, the reason why I'm getting the error is because I have an additional parentheses like last time. This is the user, uh, this is the input ID. This is the label um, input ID and then label. Okay, that's fine. And so then from there, this is all the states. So this is where you could be using the states variable, states names, but instead of utilizing, and I should have said this earlier, utilizing this thing called a unique that allows me to get the unique elements, regions, as well as states from that data frame. So if you will look at this, I'm going to stop running the code. I get the unique names of regions. You can do this thing, same thing for states. So from here, I now know I now need um, to show the plot, or at least create a plot. So this is going to be where I'll put the plot output output. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this uh, state plot. I guess that makes sense. Um, that doesn't make sense. Okay. And then I'm going to create the code here. So I'm going to paste the code here in a moment. Code. Um, for plots. Pause this. You put my put me on 2x so I can move fast. So now I have the plot 
this the function and at least the code for the state information this is me filtering based on the selected states um and me this is me the rest is me creating the plot and so notice i put commas this is different i'm actually this little thing right here sorry this is not going to work i should run it and let you see that it doesn't work because i'm utilizing a package called scales well, in my answers, watch, it's not going to work. Oh, it's, it's going to work, but not show the plot. Yeah, comma not found. All right, so what we need to do, you need to install scales. Okay, so I'm going to show you the actual function, the library, and then you can um, install it yourself live because you know how to do that. Scales, okay. So that allows us to actually have the commas. If you don't use that, you, your plot's going to not look so great. You're going to have to, you can't run this line, and this line's not ran. It looks one times e to the zero six this looks a little bit more um usable all right so this is a block and so now you can see this is what, this is like this is what common does okay so new mexico louisiana you can add southwest okay i mean south northeast doesn't want to change the plot okay so the thing is, I would argue that this is cluttered, and maybe we should, we should change the name here. Um, but this is cluttered. This is cluttered. And so what we're going to do in step three, and I'm going to show the code all in one step. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But the rationale for that, I'm going to explain what's going on. And you may probably just go through it slowly with me. And so maybe turn the speed to 0 0.5 through this process. All right. So let's go ahead and exit this this video would be really really long if i didn't do this so what i'm going to do is tell you that for questions two or one and two are part a and b those legitimately can be done and you know those legitimately are it's okay to just have those however it's imperative to you know not clutter the mind of the user and so what we can do is you know, sometimes show certain information based on what the user wants to see. Sometimes shows an, show another type of information to, depending on what the user want to see, see what the user want to, wants to see. And so here, this very first line allows me to do something very similar. So this very first radio buttons allows me to say, choose analysis type. Whether you're looking at the region, regional, or you're looking at the state visualization. So that's what we did before. It's nothing different, but right now we're letting the user select it. So this low key should be input ID, like we just seen before. And then finally, um, this should be label. And so what we can then do, okay, so you can see all that. So the default is regional analysis, and then the user can either choose regional analysis or state visualization. So when I run this, should I run it? I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it. I don't think I'm gonna run it and then have it shown. I'll just discuss the piece by piece. So based off of this user selecting region, initially it shows the table for region. And we'll talk more about the table in a moment. But the code to be able to either select state or region. Well, you can see how that changes. It changes the options, right? It changes the options. That's key. So if it's a region, it shows the regions. If it's state, it allows you to select the state. So how that works is by using two conditional panels. And notice that there's a comma here. So comma. Then conditional panel. Okay. And so when you, what you want to first do is ask for the condition. And look at the syntax. It says input dot. All right. Input period. Not question mark. So whenever it's used within the actual user interface, you're going to use input dot equal equal region analysis. Look at the look at the quotes. Make sure you pay attention to details. Look at the quotes. And then from there, I'm going to have that that original tech checks check box what I did for the region. So this is where the label should be or I input ID. And then the actual label. Right. So this will be that, this will be that, and then this will be that. So I'm not going to do the same um, code that I did earlier, but um, at least formatting it for state. But you get the point that 
once you're in, because this, once you're in this conditional panel, you're going to show this information and then it'll look the same thing. Once you're in the state visualization, you'll show this information. The same thing is done for the analysis type. So if someone, if the analysis type is equal to, I mean, sorry for the main panel, if someone selects region analysis, it's going to show the table output for region table. And if someone selects, you know, state analysis or state visualization, where is that right here, right from this um, radio output is going to then therefore display it. Okay. Actually, I should just show you this. Uh, that makes sense. Cause I can see that you don't have access to this code. So here you go. That's everything. All right. So that's it for this video. Uh, and then notice I didn't change anything to the, um, server, the back end. I didn't change anything. I didn't need to. Okay. So it's going to select based off of what the user selects. It's going to display based on what the user selects. So that's that. All right. Done.